guess what? It's Monday, it's unboxing time. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. I'm here with Tommy and we just got the new shipment of ADA, Aqua Design Amano Japan. Actually, the shipment is not from Japan, it's from India because that's where the beautifully made ADA plants are manufactured, right? Yes. So yeah, the plant health agent actually called me personally just to say that the plants are so nice. They didn't really see a shipment like this before. So, I do the honors. First. First big box, we've got one, two, three, four big boxes. Hundreds, if not thousands of plants today. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm expecting something with, which would be heavy. We are starting with the boxed plants. This, the, the first All right, top box is the plants. boxed plants, yes. Some nice uh, Indian newspapers. <laughs> but they actually sent us the English one. <laughs> How cool. Check this out. Cover. Yeah, so that one is uh, with Taxifilum peacock moss. Yeah, so all it of them. like forest. Yeah, so all of them are based on peacock moss. See, it's, it's on a mat. This is mainly designed for terrariums, so the Doha lineup, but you can easily use them in an aquarium as well. Um, most of the plants are working both in terrariums and aquariums in this lineup. There are some that are terrarium use only. And then we're moving to 4A, Vabicusa mat with Taxifilum barbieri. Oh yeah, that, that's the moss only, yeah. Anubias nana petit and also the same moss. The peacock moss. The peacock moss. For all the plants, yes. The Bucephalandra is much smaller and it has thinner leaves and it's also like right now is green. It can turn a little bit more reddish or it might stay like this. This one has, you know, rounder leaves and it's more greenish. 4H. That's empty. <laughs> Should it be? Yes, there is another one. Can you find it? I know this is empty. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so. Mizuka no Mori. What does that mean? Mizuka no Mori. Which one? Mizuka Sorry. no Mori. I need that to... goes for the in vitro plants. This is the new lineup of uh, in vitro ADA plants, which are not based on the regular uh, agar agar based uh, jelly. Another Vabicusa mat with a trident. The Microsorum trident is actually one of the narrowest tridents out there. All the leaves for the, for the other uh, Microsorum or fern types. Microsorum is actually a fern and all the leaves are, are a lot thicker for the other ones. So this is a very narrow, very thin plant. I love it. And I actually hand you the second box, which is the narrow leaf. So you can see the difference that it has longer leaves, about the same. And also it's uh, a little bit like, like curly, wavy. Yes. The, the leaf has a structure. So it's almost the same one. thickness, but this has longer well, leaves I, and I different can, I can, structures. I can tell that this is thicker a bit and it's probably going to grow even thicker just a little bit uh, underwater. Next one. Let's get the knife out. This is going to be in vitro now. He knows everything. Don't spoil it. For B. Yeah, why would you start with A? I'm that starting with B. Oh, look at this. Sense. Hygrophila lancha chai. So this is the new Hygrophila. Well, new. It's, it's, it's probably the second shipment to green aqua. Yeah, it's basically like uh, Araguaya, but in pink. And then we move to C. 3C. PO. Rotala Macrandra SP Mini. That's what's also known as butterfly. Rotala Macrandra butterfly and Rotala Macrandra Mini, it's basically the same plant. Cypress Helferi. Beautiful, look at this. It comes in a higher box. 
I love Cyp Cyprus. I like it much, much better than Valisnearia. This is a nice background plant. You can make nice carpets with it. And actually, when we had the ADA India workshop with the 60p tank, you have the uh, Cyprus helper in the background. I really like to use that because it gives the natural Japanese style curtain to the background. If you don't use it along all the way of the tank, just, you know, if you have like an island structure of some, some wood, and you place the cypress behind it, you can make a nice closing curtain behind that wood to have a background and you can leave the sides empty and then you have a nice island composition with the cypress. Next one, that's Ricardia. Yes. Ricardia comedrifolia, one of my favorite mosses. Next one, Heliocaris vivipara, which is a it's a hair grass type. The vivipara is actually good for mid-ground or even good for background plant. If you raise the substrate high, you can have a nice background with this. You can combine it with regular Eleocaris like mini. It's also called Akicularis mini. But the problem with vivipara is that vivipara will develop the runners everywhere. So when you look at it, it can look a little bit dirty. Yeah, so actually vivipara works like that it grows the new stem on itself. And you have to be really careful with this plant. All the Eleocaris types, they don't really like trimming or if you actually break the, the leaves, uh, they start to rot back. Uh, and with this one, the best method to keep it shorter is to have a comb and just like you would do with your Barbie doll. Really? Or whatever, yes. And that actually and There's, it's not going to pull out the plant from... You have to be very gentle with it. You do it just like to, this. Just to tear off these small egg-like uh, yeah. parts. Higrophila pinatifida UK. UK has nothing to do with... Um, with the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom. Yes. It's actually Uttara Canada, which is a region in India. It's a little bit reddish, but this one is a lot more reddish than the regular Higrophila pinatifida. Yeah, so the UK is more red and it's shorter. It's more compact than the regular one. And yeah, actually this whole box is the UK and the chai. So we go to the last box oh. in a moment. Who's gonna carry this box? This is gonna be heavy, Tommy. No, it's not heavy. That's what you, it's tricky, but it's big. It's not heavy. Mind your back, because he's gonna like cry later. Oh, I can't come in, my back hurts. <laughs> what, what? I know, nothing. <laughs> You're mocking me. Yes, I am all the time. Okay, so one thing about these plants is a lot of you, well, we've got questions about this. How do they come from India to here in such a nice condition? Qatar Airways, that's the solution. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the trick is they go to the air directly from the nursery. They go to the airport on a Friday. They arrive at Budapest at Sunday evening. Monday, we do the custom clearance and the plants health agency and Tuesday we receive it. So it's actually four to five days in the box. And that's perfectly fine for these plants. One other advantage of these plants is that, that you can keep them for a longer time on the shelf and after you took them home. It's much easier to take care of this plant than, than to take care of the regular plants that you see behind us in these uh, plant holding tanks. Five or six months for some plants is easily doable in the, uh, in, the in vitro. Actually, the difference comes from the, the speed of the plant. So what would be quick or fast growing in the like aquarium. Like stem plants. That's fast growing in the jelly as well. So you can keep them for a shorter time. But uh, all these slow growing plants like cryptocorins and so on, uh, they can be kept for five, six, seven months. I've got the Hydrocotyle tripartita mini. We've had a tank built by Orshi that was covered with this. You just have to trim it. Regular. Regular. At the top, we have the Hydrocotyle verticillata. And then below it, you've got the second type, good that you warned me about it, the Anubias nana petit, which is the same plant like we had it that we had on the mat. Yeah, on the mat yes. at the beginning of this video. That is an epiphyte plant, and for those of you who do not know, epiphyte plants are all those plants that are growing on wood and rock. By the way, the ferns. 
Pinatifida and Microsorum that we recently opened were also epiphyte plants. It's also important to note that uh, most Anubiases are not widely available in vitro. They're mostly coming in potted version where you get one bigger chunk. But with this, actually, they're quite sl small and obviously slow growing, but you get five of them in one cup. So you got five if you're bushes. patient enough, then you have five bushes and uh, you can plant it much better than, than a potted one. About the cups, these come sealed from the lab. So if you open them, you're going to have to use the plant. You're going to have to put the plant in the soil, underwater, whatever, because if you open it and then you just close it back on and like hope for the best and keep it on the shelf, it's not gonna survive. It's gonna probably dry out. It's gonna probably uh, develop some mold because these come in a sterile condition. So you need to keep them like this until you're using them. It's one of your favorites. Uh, is it now? Monte Carlo is a classic foreground plant. It has a little bit stronger root structure than Hemianthus cuba would have. So I'm actually more happy with using this. It would survive for some time if you have proper fertilization, it would survive on a rock if you like glue it on a rock. And uh, other than that... Other than that, everyone knows Monte Carlo. One more. That's Tommy's plant. Yes. He, he kind of likes it because this plant looks really good in Iwagumi layouts and Tommy likes Iwagumi layouts because this is the only style of tank he can actually do. And um, <laughs> what? He, he likes to be together with other plants. So if you use it alone, it's not going to survive. <laughs> That's not true because Why is Tommy... It because like... like it's manly plant. Man, because it eats you. Men man are not as... Like... What's the, what's the proper word for it? I don't want, you know, like... Not as... Please have all this in the video, okay? Just without like, a cut. Not, not as... Uh, versatile not as you know clinging to life as okay. women are women women survive much better than men yeah. remember when you had the flu oh, i'm so sick please give me some medicine like women fever flu no problem what do you want for breakfast honey right yeah with all the plants you can get the same type of plant uh, from various nurseries um, and usually there's not much difference. So a lot of people ask this, sometimes it, there's a very tiny difference between leaf sizes or coloration, but not much. Usually just very small nuances that only experts can notice. With the Tricularia, it might be just out of luck, but I've had the biggest success with the ADA one. We have three more, and actually my favorite ADA plant is coming up in 1G. He's, he's, killing, he's killing the surprise. Why? You don't know my favorite plant. Spiralis tri tiger? Yes. Since when is that your favorite? So, with this plant, uh, when Daichi visited us and he had the, uh, the workshop, he used it in the 60p and we actually forgot about it. You have to be very, very patient with this plant. Before, because after about... It melted four to, No, no. But it took four to five months to actually grow up to the surface in the background and you could actually notice that it's in there. But oh, because otherwise it was behind the hardscape yes. and you could not so see it. It's that. very small and very, very slow. But if you take your time, uh, it's one of the most beautiful plants uh, for background. And now we go to one eye. One eye, Cyclops. Rotala rotundifolia. This is the stem plant for the background. Rotundifolia is a little bit like reddish, uh, orangish. It's, it's like in between green and red, and we like to use these three, the Rotala green, the Rotala rotundifolia, and Rotala HRA sometimes together. They can actually... It creates very nice graduation from green to red. Well, this is the HRA, the, the one that I talked about. This is the very deep red one. Some of the reddish, pots are already yes. reddish, some of the pots are greenish. A little bit of information about the red plant. They develop this, this red color to protect themselves against uh, the, the strong light. So if you want to have strong reds, then you should really you know, have a good, good quality light that hangs above the tank. And also for the red color of the plants, use some type of fertilization that's low on nitrates like ADA. Some excess iron, yeah. So don't, don't go crazy with it, 
but some extra iron can help to bring out the reds as well. And trimming, lots of trimming. So don't expect these plants to plant them, start growing and they turn crazy red. They won't. They need a lot of trimming to get conditioned in this state. All right, thank you ADA for sending us all these beautiful plants and I hope that you guys learned a little bit about plants. I know we didn't have time to speak about them in detail. The most important thing is that this, the shipment you've seen now, this is for the coming weeks, so it's quite limited. That's why we wanted to make... Actually, now we're making this video and you're gonna see it in about two or three days or something like that. So by that time, they're still gonna be on stock. If you watch this a week later, they might not. So be quick. All right, so that's it. See you on Thursday. See him on Thursday. Who's gonna know. come on this Thursday? I don't know, don't worry okay. about it. One of us is gonna come on Thursday. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Does anyone know how to spell it? Verticillata, Tommy. Yeah, okay, that, you no, got it's it. not Italian. But it's it is. Latin.